Ryan right with the shot, and it's an absolute screamer. Thank you, a shot at goal. And. Cardo with a chance to play lay on bomb corner, and it's a winner. Joe Cardo with his 100th goal for Kelty Hearts. Michael, a disappointing 1 1 draw here at New Central Park. What did you make of the game? Um, I fought for probably 60 65 minutes, we were really, really good um, in terms of how, how we play and kind of rotation in the middle of the park and you know, bringing our wingers inside the play. And, First half especially, I thought we were really, really good. Probably the best we've been for, for a long time this season. But like anything, Sean, you need to put the game to bed. Um, and we didn't manage to do it. So, as I say, bitterly disappointed as well, and especially the result. The performance after the equaliser, um, when we were looking to get ahead again, what did you make of that? I thought it got a bit scrappy, to be honest. Um, and... I mean, with a great respect to Annan, it turns into a, a bit more of a fight. Um, they bring on Tommy Goss obviously up front, you know, causes problems. And it, it kind of went a bit basketball y, which, which I don't like. I don't think we've got the players to play like that. Um, probably could have nicked it at the end. I say nicked it after, I think we would have deserved it. And Baz Header, I uh, need to see it back, but it looks to me like he's, he's maybe just took his eye off the ball last second. But as I said, you know, performance wise for large spells, we were. Well, brilliant, really, really good, um, really brave in possession and you know creating chances and looked like a team that was going to try and win the game. But it's football. I've played enough games of football. If you don't, if you don't take your chances, you always leave yourself, you know, susceptible to get hit in the break. And you know the goal, the goals annoyed me, really, really annoyed me. <clears throat> and again, that's just organisation and, and a bit of communication. Two people go for the same ball, whether they're talking, they said they were. So we've got to manage it, we've got to manage it. And listen, I, I, we all make mistakes, I make mistakes. And I've had a go at them, I've had a go at them because I'm angry, because I want to win games of football. And, you know, for us to try and be in, you know, that top six pack, these are the games we've got to try and win. So, I, I, again, I'm, I'm pleased with the performance, but a bit disappointed with the result. On a more positive note, it was a first start for McAllister, who's came in, looked comfortable, looked driven. What did you make of his performance? I thought he was really, really good. <clears throat> Bear in mind, he's only a kid, he's only 17 years of age. Um, and we kind of played him kind of off the right but coming inside and I, I, listen he's, you can see I can see when he trained he, he's got game intelligence for being a young lad and he picks up great areas and he's always positive so you know, I'm really really pleased for him and you know I'm, I'm just pleased to have him in the squad it just adds, his, adds a different dimension in terms of how he wanted to play but listen as I say I thought defensively apart from that one wee mistake I thought we were great I thought Steph was great Adam, Jess even built left back <coughs> um, midfield I thought I thought we were fine you know CJ up top works his socks off Bav was a threat on that side um, and as I say we, we Maka was good coming in off the line so for all frustrated I'm pleased with how we played but we've got to manage games better but listen I'll take that responsibility because there's a lot of young kids out there and um, they'll learn they'll learn they'll need to learn we've all been there I've been there myself as a player and you need the older heads to help you you know and just show a bit more character and, and, win the, and see the game out see the game out 1-0 I, I, I finish it off and try and get the second goal so we just need to dust ourselves down and go again next week when you brought Babbage in, you obviously needed to find a way to make it work between him and the experienced um, CJ Craig up front. That They seem to be gelling a lot better. How have you found that yeah. partnership? Now, listen, uh, the two of them, you, what I will say is, you know, they work extremely hard. Proper team play. CJ CJ is a proper team player. And the amount of work he does outside the box is, for, for the way we try and play, you know, he, he makes good runs. Um, and he, he's always a threat in terms of putting defenders under pressure. With Bav, he's slightly different. I know he's a striker, but he filters out to the left a lot, so, and he's got that raw power, and he can go by people, and again, just decision-making for him. There's a couple he tries to cut back, but I think he's just got to, got to you know, put his laces through it. Um, but again, he's, he's a young lad, you know, and he steps up, takes a penalty, um, and he's been great for us. He's been great, and he's learned a lot um, over the last, whatever, month, three, four months, and, you know, he won't get better, but... <clears throat> yeah, him and CJ are working well and obviously Botty's there as well, so listen, there's options there and, and that's what you ask for as a manager. Uh, strength this season for the team has been playing on the road against full-time teams and we've got air next week, is that one that you're looking forward to? No, definitely. Obviously Scottish Cup, uh, we'll go down there and I'll try and play the way we play, it's as simple as that. Full respect for Air, they're a championship side. Um, I know they've been through a, a kind of a sticky patch, you know, but you know, they're a good side and they've got good experience. And 
I know how difficult a game it will be. Um, and it'll, it'll, listen, it'll be good for the, for the lads to go down and you know, try and play with no fear and try and play the right way. And listen, anything can happen in a, in a cup game. So we're under no illusions. We know, we know it'll be difficult, but you know, as I said, I said from after there, I've got to show a wee bit more character, show a wee bit more leadership in certain areas. But again, go back to your question, we'll go down there. Looking forward to it. You know, we'll train well. Um, training first, Tuesday, Thursday was real high standard, you know. Um, and I enjoy it. I enjoy it when, when it's like that. And I enjoyed 65, 70 minutes because we're playing proper football. And it's easy to say that. I, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel or anything. I think that I'm Guardiola. But in terms of how we play, I think the boys enjoy it. It's just having that wee bit of ruthlessness and wee bit of nastiness at certain times. And, you know, that's up to me and my staff is... Um, uh, sorry, it's up to me and my staff to try and find that and the players to, to you know get on board with it as well. And uh, listen, I'm gutly disappointed, and that's that's a good thing for me because I think they knew in terms of how we played, we, we, we should have won the game. Okay. Thanks very much, mate. You're welcome.